Hello again. So, I want to go into something here. Um, you know, I'm rehashing all these memories, these good memories of past music scenes and bands and, you know, punk rock. Um, because that time was that fun, you know, it was exciting. That was my life. Now, uh, it doesn't mean that there's, it's not like there's nothing going on here, but the lack of excitement with music, I feel like I need to move somewhere else sometimes to be able to get that back, you know. Um, that was one good thing about Seattle, there's lots of shows up here, up there. Down here, it's only 30 miles away, but it's far enough that it's, you know, it it's it's a pain to just drive up there and go see a show. At least for me, I don't know. I think a lot of people feel that way. Um. So yeah, you know, I I really I really miss it, and I really loved that time. You know, there's no doubt about it. I mean, um. There has been some good bands over the years that uh, that have played, you know, newer bands that have they got together and they broke up or whatever. A, a couple being, um, I think Red Fang is still a band, but check out Red Fang's albums, especially their first album. Um, they're they're from Portland. I think they're still together. Those guys are. It, are amazing. So check out Prehistoric Dog by Red Fang. It's pretty mind blowing. Check out the video. Um, and of course, Brothers of the Sonic Cloth. I think they're still together. That's Tad's band. Um, there's a band called Miko de Noche, which was uh, Dave Foster, who was in Nirvana for a brief time um, after. They recorded that demo with Dale. He he was in Miku de Noche, and they recorded a seven inch. Um, they have a few albums out, um, but that was my favorite stuff. With a short short period of time, Foster was in uh, Miku de Noche. But M I C O D E and then N O C H E Miku de Noche. Check them out. They're not a band anymore. So there are some good bands, you know, I, I'll go out, but it's rare to see anything that just blows me away anymore, you know? Um, so, anyway, I just wanted to say that, that's... I'm, I'm getting stuck in the past, but you know what? I want to get this out, because it was, it was a amazing time, you know? Um and uh, I want to share as much as, as possible. So, yeah, thanks thanks for listening. We'll, we'll go through some more records and stuff. In fact, I'll just do that right now. So, this is a super heavy, or well, the second side of this is really heavy, and it's slow. And it definitely uh, kind of reminds me a couple of the songs, like early Melvins, though Melvins were a little more like complex with their riffs um, but but yeah check out check out my war the second side nothing left inside three nights and scream it's a great album uh, poison idea of course this is poison idea's first full length but check out um, pick your king is the seven inch uh, this album Jerry's kids uh, is this my world? This album just rips. One of my favorite punk rock drummers. I don't know. I don't remember his name. Um, I can't read that small. Anyway, if you're a drummer, listen to this album. Cherry's Kids, Is This My World. The drums on here will trip you out. Alright. Thanks much.